All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to the broadcast, you guys. Slide over to the right and share if you're on Apple. Bottom to the top, if you're on Android, go ahead and share, share, share. All right, all right, all right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, let's share, you guys. We need to double the count. We need to get to double digit uh, attendees before we get started with today's. Hey, how you doing, brother? Uh, Nakia. All right, all right. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, jo Joy. I mean, Jay. Sorry about that. Jay. Uh oh. There's my notes. Uh oh. I'll be right back. My notes blowing away. All right, all right, all right, you guys, come on in, come on in. Can't let my notes blow away. Come on in, let's share, share, share. You know the routine. All right, you know the routine by now, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Sister Niambi, for sharing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got need for everybody to share, everybody to share. All right, rule to the money game is sharing. Rule to the money game is sharing with your, your friends and your circle. They call it your circle of influence. That's what it's called, brothers and sisters. So every time you come on here, you, you are practicing or you're given the opportunity to practice the rules to the money game. The rules to win. Not rules to play, but rules to win. All right? So I need for everybody to share, share, share. Share this stream right now. Hit a little pair of dude in the corner and let's share. Let's give some heart so I know you guys are there, okay? Because I'm um, here at Starbucks. I think this has a... A good connection. Thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and share it, everybody. And if you guys to share, we need to get to double digits on this broadcast before we get started. All right, uh, we got Meerkat with us this morning. I, I remembered to bring my tablet yesterday. I forgot my tablet, so we went straight cell phone, uh, and we were one device short, so we couldn't include Meerkat. So they're they're with us this morning. All right, you guys, go ahead and share. We're talking about the number one investment of all times. The number one investment of all times. You want to make sure, hey, Brother Vernon, you want to make sure that your friends know about this. What kind of friend would you be if you learned what the number one investment of all time is and you didn't share it with those that you and I say we like and love, right? What kind of friend would we be? So our only job is to invite them, right? Our only job is to invite them. And once we've done that, we've done our part. So go ahead and share, share, share. Share it, everybody. And we're going to get started in about 30 seconds. So we need for everybody to share with their friends. All right? And if you're just coming on, let us know if you're new, if this is your first time on the stream. And give us your name and which city you're from. We need to see who's, who's, rep, who's repping, all right? Who's representing here this morning on the live stream. This is Tactical Thursday. We have Tactical Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is Tactical Thursday where we give you actually tactics, right? Things to do, all right? We give you actual substance. Hey, Living Sheep, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thanks for restreaming, Living Sheep. Thank you for restreaming. All right, brothers and sisters, hashtag black dollars, hashtag black wealth, hashtag black economy. That's what we're about here on these live streams. And if you're about that yourself, then you're definitely in the right place, all right? We're going to share with you some things that will empower yourself, your family, but most importantly, our black community, all right? Our community is suffering, brothers and sisters, from economic impotence. <laughs> economic impotence, right? We have uh, erection, dysfunction, erection, or whatever they call that thing, but we have that in our our community when it comes to economics, right? When it comes to economics. All right? So thank you very much for sharing, Allah Land. Thank you so very much. We need to double this count. We need for everybody, the sound of my voice, to share, share, share. Share on Facebook, your friends on Facebook, and also on Twitter. All right? Go ahead and share, 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 you guys. Come on, let's get this party started now. Uh, some of you guys have been coming long enough by yourself. Bring somebody with you. Reach out and, you know, call them on the phone, right? Reach out and call them. Some of us are too, we're overly dependent 
on technology. No matter how much technology advances, brothers and sisters, nothing can replace personal contact with people. All right? Nothing can replace personal contact with people. That's another rule of the money game in order to win. Those who win at the money game, they still make personal contact with people. They still do the basics of human, uh, um, what do you call it, you know, interpersonal communication. They still do those things that are necessary. They don't let technology do what only personal contact can do. All right? So don't get over-dependent on technology because technology does what technology does, but personal contact does what only personal contact can do. So with that being said, brothers and sisters, let's go ahead and get started. We're four minutes after. We want to get into this subject matter because this is uh, something that you guys need to know. You need to be added to your rules. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. For those who don't know me, welcome to today's live stream, The Money Game, the number one investment of all time. My name is Daryl Muhammad, real estate investor, mentor, coach, entrepreneur, sales and marketing professional, online sales, offline sales, uh, networker, networking, uh, networker, that means a network marketer, and also uh, a networker, all right, and networking, networking with people. All right, connecting with people. That's one of the things that I specialize in. And also, brothers and sisters, a former stock broker on Wall Street. And, uh, and that has really, you know, I've been blessed because that's in the top 1% uh, of the industry are quote unquote minorities. And even less than that are black, less than that are black males. So I was very fortunate to be uh, a stock broker and learned a lot, not just about investments but about investors, the mindset of professional investors. Because you always have two classes of people. You have amateurs and you have professional, professionals, okay? So you want to be a professional. Professionals always make the most money in any field. Professionals, those that carry themselves like a professional, those who treat their opportunity, being it a job or whatever the opportunity is, right? They treat it like a professional and they're clear on what that uh, what that means all right so brothers and sisters welcome 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 if you like this conversation you want to continue uh, into the future you want to go further in this conversation here's what you need to do you need to go to my website darylmohammed.net darylmohammed.net hit one of those blog posts and subscribe all right get on my special VIP list because we're starting to have uh, multiple live events but it's only for those of you on the VIP list those of you who have raised your hand again and taken action to say I like the message I want to participate I want to take action to empower myself my family but most importantly our community economically right I want to be the change that I talk about I want to be the change that I'm looking for Right? I want to be the change that other people talk about, but they're not about it. They're not being about it. They're just, you know, talking about it. All right? Change does not come from talking. Right? Somebody has to be about it and be committed to it. All right? So go to DarylMohammed.net, subscribe, and uh, you'll be on the special VIP list. And those are for action takers only. Action takers only. Thank you, Sister Denise, for, uh, for sharing. All right? Uh, the other thing is you want to you want to connect with me on social media, Facebook fan page, that's Daryl Muhammad fan page, Periscope, of course, you're here, so make sure you click the follow button, and uh, Twitter, Daryl Muhammad, what else, um, uh, Blab, Daryl Muhammad, and, and what's that thing, S Snapchat, all right, Snapchat, Daryl Muhammad, all right. When you find something that resonates with you, Gigi, hey, how you doing, sister? When you resonate, something resonates with your spirit, brothers and sisters, you don't want to remain a surface dweller. You want to delve down into the depths, right? You want to delve, delve down into the depths of that which resonates with your spirit, all right? So if this resonates with your spirit, you continue to want to delve deep. That means take further and further actions, get more and more engaged. These are the rules that the winners who win at the money game play by. If they like something, they don't stay on the surface. 
right? They, they get involved, they engage, they get more and more and more information from that source, right? And that's what we want to talk about today. We're talking about the number one investment of all time. The number one investment of all time. Brothers and sisters, I hope you're listening. I hope you're not multitasking, all right? You might miss something, and if you do, watch the replay, all right? Let's go ahead and share it real quick, brothers and sisters. Let's go ahead and share it real quick because we're about to get into the message and then we're going to open up for questions and we want to get out of here at the bottom of the hour because we all have something to do. Now, here's what you need to understand. When you're looking for an investment, when you're looking for an investment, what you have to do is something called due diligence. Due diligence. Somebody put that in the live stream. When you're looking at an investment, what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is what they call due diligence due diligence. Thank you very much. The more you get into the space of entrepreneurship, the more you get into the space of financial freedom, the more you get into the space of, of opportunities and investments, you will hear that term due diligence, right? Due diligence. So the first thing you need to do when an inter in investment is presented to you or when you I find an investment is you need to do your due diligence. And what is that? That's uh, research, that's gathering of information, brothers and sisters. You need to gather information. But let me tell you specifically. You need to gather information that will give you two things. One, the understanding of the industry. All right? Number one, the understanding of the industry or the investment. Right? The industry, the investment. Number two, you... You, you need to do your research so you can understand how money is generated in that industry from that investment. All right? You got that? Thank you, Eugene, for sharing. All right? All right? So that's the first thing you need to do. Due diligence. One, research only means gather information with the objective to understand. With the object to understand the industry, the investment, and also understand clearly how money is generated, how revenue is generated, all right? How revenue is generated from in that industry from that investment, all right? Let's go ahead and share it, brothers and sisters. We're talking about the number one, the number one investment of all time, the number one investment of all times, all right? So what you need to do is you need to understand the objective is to understand the industry, Understand the opportunity, not details. Don't get bogged down in all the little crevices, crevices, right? All the little details of the investment, of the opportunity, of the industry. You just want to understand how it works, how it functions, the multiple moving pieces, and you want to understand revenue. You want to understand how is revenue generated in that industry from that opportunity. All right, so you don't want to get bogged down in the details, right? Now that's going to be hard to do for a lot of us. Why? Because we have the employee mentality, and the employee mentality is to focus on one area and go deep into it. Focus on one area and try to know everything. Try to be the practitioner of that area. But if you're going to win at the money game and play by the rules that the winners play by, they're not trying to be the accountant. They're not trying to be the marketer, the vice president of marketing. They're not trying to be those things. They're trying to get an understanding of the industry, understanding of the investment, and how money is being generated in that industry, in that particular investment, right? So don't get caught too bogged down in the details. Just seek those two objectives, and that will help us to retrain our minds out of the employee mentality and more into the mentality of entrepreneurship and the mentality of an investor, right? The investor does not get bogged down in all those employee intricacies, right? So don't you do that. You lose a lot of time, you lose a lot of energy, you lose a lot of money doing that. But you do need to do your research, and research is to gather information so you can understand those things, all right? So that's what you need to do to identify an opportunity, to identify an investment to identify what it is that you need to put your time, your energy, and your money into in order to get the kind of return you need 
to reach your financial objective in life. All right? And remember, the financial objective is in the money game is financial freedom. It's not a Mercedes Benz. It's not Gucci shoes. It's not a Michael Core purse. They might get those things along the way, right? Those might be trophies and rewards along the way. But it's after you run the race that you get the trophy. It's after you run the race that you get the get the uh, get the ribbon, right? It's not before, right? It's after you reach some uh, substantial landmark. So the objective is in the money game. If you're playing it to win, and understand the objective of the money game is financial freedom. Financial freedom, and we define that in some other scopes. So we won't get into that today. Brothers and sisters, this is hashtag black dollars, hashtag black wealth, hashtag black economy. This is where I share with you information that I've learned from my 30 years being on this journey called entrepreneurship, being on this journey called financial independence, being on this journey that, they, that, the, that the players who win know is the real American dream. And that's financial freedom. That's not a, that's not a college degree with a job with a house, with a picket fence, with 2.5 children and a dog. That's not, the, that's not the true American dream. That's the American dream for the masses of the people. But the masses of the people do not win at the money game because they're playing by those rules. And they're not playing by the rules of those who win. I'm talking about win big time. I'm talking about win in comparison with all the other players. We're not talking about being a champion of Pop Warner football. We're not talking about being the champion of the minor leagues. We're talking about being the champion of the major leagues. Right? Being the champion of the major leagues. And the, and the goal is financial freedom. Financial independence. And that doesn't have to be a uh, hundred million dollars. That doesn't have to be a billionaire. So it's not the amount of money. Right? It's understanding what the objective is and playing to that objective. So when somebody sees you, they say, he won. He knew how to play. You mean, what? You make $5,000, $7,000 a month, and you're not working? What? And you're not 65, you're not 75 years old? What program is that? I've never heard of a retirement program like that. What kind of program is that that you're on? See, retirement is a rule to play for those that don't want to lose but they're not playing to win either. See, that's one of those safety. If you're playing it safe, brothers and sisters, you can't win at the money game because you're too busy focusing on not losing. And you can't focus on two objectives, opposite objectives uh, for that matter, at the same time. You can't focus on two at all, and you definitely can't focus on two at the same time. You can't look in your rear view, view mirror and also out your front windshield at the same time. One is out of focus right one is out of focus and the one you're focusing on that's the one that's the direction that you're most interested in most of us are playing not to lose and therefore by default we can't win because in order to win you have to be willing to lose all right you have to be willing to lose so that's another rule to win at the money game another one of those winning rules that we need to understand in order to win. So, we still haven't told you what the number one investment of all time is. I'm just laying down the base. All right? Now, here's what you need to do. There's, you need to understand, brothers and there's millions and billions of, of ways to invest your money. Millions and billions of ways to invest your money. You and I can't live long enough to be able to investigate uh, one one trillion of a percent of them. Right? So therefore, you have to be clear and resolved uh, in what you're looking for. You have to be clear and resolved on what it is that you're trying to accomplish and therefore match up the investment with your goal and what you're trying to accomplish in the time frame that you have. It does me no good at 51 to subscribe to a, a program, right? A program meaning a way to achieve my goal and it's a 50 year plan. That means I'll have to live to be a hundred, which is possible, but not probable, right? And we'll talk about the difference between possible and probable, all right? So this investment that I'm going to share with you, brothers and sisters, 
is one that has been proven, proven to make you financially free. It has been proven more than any other investment in history to make people financially free. It's been proven. It's been proven, right? Every winner of the, of the money game invests in this number one investment of all time. And I learned, and this really crystallized for me when I became a stock broker. So everybody that wins, no matter how they make their money, no matter what their cash cow is, right? No matter what their cash cow is, if they're properly advised and they're smart, smart meaning in, in preserving your wealth, not getting it. It takes a certain level of intelligence to get it, but it takes a greater level of intelligence to preserve it. So those that are intelligent in preserving their wealth, they all invest in this number one investment of all time. I would say at least 99.9% .9 of those who are focusing in preservation of wealth, right? And understand the game to win and not to lose are invested in this number one investment opportunity, investment of all times, all times, brothers and sisters. All right. Now, here's the interesting thing about it. This investment is so common, right? It's so common that is overlooked by most of us. It's so common we look at it and say, yeah, okay, right? It is so common that we treat it like a, almost like a forsaken thing. It is so common we just blink at it and we're looking the other way. See, one thing that you have to understand if you're going to play by the rules to win at the money game, don't get caught up in the latest and the greatest. Don't get caught up in what, what's sexy today. What's the big buzz, right? If, it's, if it reaches the masses of the people, it's for the masses of the people. You have to know true uh, uh, wealth is not offered to the masses of the people. True knowledge is not offered to the masses of the people. Knowledge that is self-empowering is designed for self-empowering, not designed for you to go get a job, is not offered to the masses of the people. That's why we're doing this live stream Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Because this what you hear is not offered to the masses of the people. The only way you find it is because you're looking for it. Because it's not just going to fall in your lap. And if it does, I wouldn't bet on it. Right? I wouldn't bet on it. Okay? So, don't look for the sexiest. Don't look for the, the, the hot, the greatest, the latest, and the greatest. If it ever reached the surface for the masses of the people to see, then you need to be very uh, diligent in your due diligence. Right? And see where it is in its cycle. Right? In its cycle. In the business cycle where it is in the, in the economy cycle, you need to be that much more astute of what's going on. All right, so that's what you understand. Now, this number one investment of all time is real estate investing. That's right, real estate investing. See, when you're dealing with fundamental concepts and ideas, anything fundamental, brothers and sisters, no matter how far you get away from it, you're going to make a complete circle right back to it. Right? Real estate investing, not a real estate agent, not a mortgage broker, mortgage lender. I said a real estate investor, a real estate entrepreneur. Real estate entrepreneur. That is the number one investment of all time. Land. Wars are fought over land. Resources, the most valuable resources are, are found in the earth. Right? Human beings come from the earth. Scientists have said every mineral that's in your body, from your teeth to your bones to your hair, right? Every cell is found in the earth. Every mineral of your body that's natural to your physical structure is found in the earth. Right? So it's real estate investing. Real estate investing. Now here's a quick story before we wrap up. And I'll tell you the reason why it is so powerful and it'll stay powerful and it'll never go away. And no matter what technology does, nothing will make more financially free individuals 
than real estate. You know, it was a saying back in the day when I first started going to those real estate seminars back in the 80s. They, they used to say real estate is the poor man's way to wealth. Real estate is the poor man's way to wealth. Real estate, brothers and sisters, is so basic and common. You, all you need to know how to do is read, write, and multiply, right, competently. And you can be financially free in real estate. That's why they keep you away from those things. They want to tell you you need a degree. You need four, five degrees. You need six, seven degrees and all this other kind of stuff because they're keeping you away from that that is so natural, right? That is so necessity, necessary to life. They try to keep you away from that because anybody, anybody can crack that nut. Anybody can crack the real estate entrepreneur nut. Anybody can uh, crack the real estate investor nut combination all right so this will save your questions for the end please Sammy all right so that's what you have to understand so here's a lesson I learned in real in, as a stockbroker so I've been like I said since 1980s going to the seminars for real estate and knew I wanted to get into real estate as an investor entrepreneur got my first course in 82 so when I became a stockbroker in 96 I'm still engaged in real estate knowledge. I'm still engaged in getting getting started and getting involved and knowing, you know, what to do. And I used to call on real estate investors to get them to invest in the stock market. And I couldn't understand why they were just adamant of not investing their money in the stock market. They said, I'll just continue to invest my money in real estate. Now take it, I've been going to these real estate seminars for 20 years, so I was no neophyte to real estate investing. I just had to stop long enough to think and understand why and put on my real estate investor hat. And once I did that, brothers and sisters, I realized why, and they were exactly right. They were exactly right. That's why I tell you guys, from being a stockbroker, I don't believe in the stock market because it's rigged, it's fixed, and the little man can't win. The only way you can have a chance in winning in the stock market, you have to invest $25 to $50 a month starting when you're 25 and do that every month for, 50, for th oh, 25 years for your whole working career. Now, nobody does anything that long. People can barely breathe every day <laughs> that long, right? People are dying before they get 65 and 70. So they they, cat, they checking out on breathing every day, let alone investing every month, right? So it's possible, but not very probable. You want to do what's probable, right? And once you master what's probable, then you can do the possible and even the impossible. Brother, so that's a nugget right there, see? Maybe that flew over your head, but that's a nugget right there. You need to watch this replay, write that down, and just study it. That's a nugget right there. Because if not, you'll get caught up into these millions and billions of ways to invest your money. Right? Because you're missing the slightest things. You know, if 99.9% .9 of, of, of those that win big in the money game have this number one investment of all time, real estate, in their portfolio, real estate investing, you know what you call that to those that are wide awake? You call that a hint, brothers and sisters. You call that a hint. You don't need somebody to come hit you over your head. A bulb, light bulb goes off in your head. All right? If light bulbs are going off in your head, you know you're catching hints. You're getting ideas. Right? You're tapping into the ether, God's universe, tapping into his mind. Right? To give you that idea. Right? So that's what you have to understand, brothers and sisters. That's what you need to do. Now, here's the reason why real estate investing will always be, always be the number one investment of all time. Here it is. It's called IDEAL. I-D-E-A-L. And that's an acronym. One, because it generates income. Two, because it has depreciation tax advantages. That's D. Uh, what's next? E. E is because, uh, what's that? What is the E? Oh yeah, equity pay down, right? So as the renters, excuse me, the renters are paying you rent you're paying down the mortgage. So when you're paying down your debt, your equity bills, right? That's idea. A is appreciation. 
Real estate, the value of real estate, if you take care of it, it appreciates over time, right? And the L is leverage. We talked about this before. The L is leverage. The L is leverage, meaning that you can take a little, right, and control a lot. You can take 10%, 20% down, borrow the rest, so you're putting 20% down, but you're controlling 100% of that property. Thank you, um, Aaron. Idea. Income, right? Depreciation, that's tax advantages. E is equity uh, buildup, right? By paying down your debt, by the rent that your tenants are paying. A for appreciation. It appreciates faster over time than any inflation. All right, we about to ban you, Pete. All right, okay. And then L is leverage. L is leverage. All right, L is leverage. So that's why it's the ideal investment. The number one investment of all time is real estate investing as you as a real estate entrepreneur. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to DarylMuhammad. Net. Somebody put that so they can get the spelling right. And off to the right, you'll see my real estate course. If you're serious, only if you're serious. If you're curious, then go to YouTube, put in my name, and then you can just watch, you know, a whole bunch of videos on real estate investing too, until you fall out, right? Until you faint, if that's what you want to do. But if you're ready to take action, you're sick and tired of getting information, and you want to take action, then go to DarylMuhammad.net, hit that uh, uh, my banner on the side, hit my my uh, course on the side, off on the right, you hit that, and that'll give you some free training, okay? I'll give you free video training. I'll give you the exact steps that you need to take, and I'll even give you the forms that you need to use so you can go out there and kick the tires, and you can see that what I'm sharing with you is 100% legal, moral, and ethical, and you can do it with no money, no risk, no job, right? You can even do it as a felon. All right? If any of you all have access to organizations that deal with those that have been released from the prison system, I want to talk to them. Right? I want to talk to them. Because real estate investing is a way for them to never have to go back to that life again and make as much money as they can even imagine possible. And rehabilitate the very community that they help to destroy. All right? So if anybody out there is a felon, you reach out to me. If, you, if you're affiliated with any programs that want to, you know, re-indoctrinate them and, and teach them how to, you know, go get their GED and go become a, 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 a air conditioning and heating guy, AVAC person, learn how to do roofing, all that's good. But those that were making $1,000, $2,000 a week, on the streets, that's not attracted to them. That's why they go back to that, right? They've had a taste of the good life, it's called, that we have never, some of us have never tasted, right? So we can't be so critical. But Donald Trump, as much as we don't like him, I like Donald Trump. Donald Trump private jet is not a G200, not a G500 like Beyonce in there. Donald Trump private jet ain't no private jet. It's a plane. It's a 737 commercial plane that Donald Trump has. So if any of those brothers that's getting out of prison that still want a ball, you send them to me. And I'll show them examples of how they can ball, ball out of control. <laughs> we want to stay in control, but you know what I'm saying. Brothers and sisters, reach out to me, DarylMuhammad.net. Hit the comment button and reach out to me. Right? If you want me to come to your city, if you have a group or organization that you want me to share this, this empowering message with, this financial empowering message with, then reach out to me. I can show you how I can come to your city, speak to your group for free. You don't even have to pay me to speak to your group. If you won't do something for free, brothers and sisters, then we'll just be lying to ourselves and everybody to say, if I had a million dollars, I'll invest in commercials. And I'll invest in advertisement, and I'll invest in marketing, and I'll bring I'll bring this person in town, and I'll bring this person for a workshop, I'll bring this person a train. That's not true. If you won't take advantage of free, then you'll never get the money that you need 
to do what you say you would do if you had the money. Right? That's, de that's delusional thinking. Delusional thinking, brothers and sisters. All right? So go to DarylMuhammad.net. Reach out to me. Let's go ahead and get this message out. All right? Go ahead and get this message out. So that's the number one investment of all times. So if you want to win in a very big way, brothers and sisters, and I'll go more to this in our private settings. Thank you, Aaron. I'll go into more of this. If you're on my list and you want more, then get on my list because I'll go more into detail on real estate investing because that's, that's my thing. That's my ticket, right? That's my ticket. That's my horse that I'm going to ride and ride and ride because that horse has been proven to win more than any other horse in the history of the world. So it's only intelligent, right? It's only intelligent to ride a horse that has that kind of track record. So I understand you want to do other things, but just know that those that win big time in the major leagues in the money game, they have real estate investment in their investment portfolio. They might not have started there, but if they're intelligent and they're being properly advised by experts on preservation of wealth, real estate, investing, ownership is in their portfolio. If you're talking to somebody, you're trying to get advice from somebody, and they don't have real estate, real estate investment outside of their home because that's not an investment, then you should be like, wow, they're missing it. They're missing something. They heavy on the front end. Get get money. Get get money. Get get money. Right? But who has the most money when they die? Right? That's another rule that the winners play by. Who has the most money when they die? That's what determines if you've won. When it's over. When the clocks are, 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 are all zeros. Right? When there's no more quarters in the game. Meaning your life. How much money? Do you have to leave behind for your family and how much do you have to leave behind to empower our black community economically so that being said brothers and sisters if there are any questions put your questions somebody had a question before if you have any questions go ahead and put that in can you do this if you're not a felon of course you can do this not a felon <laughs> if you're a felon and you can do it then surely you can do it if you're not a felon, right? So absolutely, 2006. All right, any other questions? Okay, what's my name? Daryl Muhammad. DarylMuhammad.net. That's how you can reach me. All right? So any questions? Any questions? Go on once, go on twice. we like to keep these short. Tomorrow is Friday, so tomorrow is Freedom Friday. Freedom Friday. All right? Well, I thank you. My note is filled up. Thank you, Brother Aaron. Well, now you share it. Share it. It's about sharing. Love your sessions. The black community, Ole Miss, needs to hear from you. All right, brother, we'll let whoever that is, brothers and sisters, Jay Hunt, sister, reach out to me, please. I want to come. I want to come to your city. Reach out to me, sister Jay, all right, and let God does what he do and, and get me there so I can come and talk to the, to the soldiers of the future. I really want to talk to the young people because they got the right spirit. They got the right spirit. They're fearless, right? Any generation prior to this present generation, this millennial generation, we got too much fear in us. We got too much Pharaoh in us, including me at 51. Would you open? Yeah, all right, set it up. Of course I would. All right, set up the tour. Set up the HBCU tour. I met with a sister two days ago. Met her on Facebook. She's here in Houston. I took her as one of the strategies of, 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 of uh, marketing, social media marketing, is you quickly take them offline. You quickly take them off Facebook. You quickly take them off Instagram. You quickly take them off somebody else's platform and you get them on your platform. So I met with her last week. She's an international speaker and she spoke at one of the HBCUs here in Texas in Houston, Prayer View University. And she said, I'm going to introduce you to somebody because especially the young men, since I told her that I'm about financial empowerment for the black community, especially the black men so she's supposed to put me in contact because that's the voice that is missing is the voice specifically for the black men for the black men all right and we got a strong message for them 
and is wrapped around financial and pound. That's the bow. That's the bow that wraps the gift. All right, brothers and sisters. So any questions, any questions whatsoever. So, Jay, I'll be looking to hear from you. You, you reach out to me and uh, we'll make that happen. All right. So any questions, brothers and sisters? There's no questions. It's the ideal investment. Go to DarylMuhammad.net. You'll see my course to the right. Click on it. Put your name and email in there. You'll start receiving some free stuff. Some free stuff. Some free stuff. Some free training on real estate investing, wholesaling. Hello from Russia. All right, Russia. We block folks from Russia because they always come on about Putin and some crazy stuff. Sorry. All right. Any other questions? Any other questions? Questions, brothers and sisters? We not playing. We, we just, you know, one of the rules of success to win at the money game, you don't ask for permission. You ask for forgiveness. <laughs> so I'm sorry for blocking you. Right? It would seem like everybody come on for Russia. Come on with some crazy foolishness. And we don't have time for that. As my girl Beyonce say right here in Houston, and I've worked personally with Beyonce a couple years ago, uh, part of her security team and it was just a blessing to see her and Jay operate up close but as Jay, as Bay says right as Beyonce says slay that's what timing is brothers and sisters so if you're around here timid right you want to love everybody right you want why can't we just all get along <laughs> hey, you'll get along all right <laughs> you gonna get slayed right that's why our community has suffered economically for so long. We don't want to take full responsibility for, for our outcome. We're so quick to let outsiders help us. And they're called outsiders for a reason. Right? Called outsider for a reason. I'm not saying you don't take help from outsiders, but recognize what it is. They're outsiders and they don't have the same interests as you. Not the same identical interests as you. Right? Why do you expect other people to have the same identical concerns as you have? That's what they expect. And you fall for that. Right? You, you don't... We, for the most part, not enough of us are hypersensitive when it comes to our community. Right? We let them pressure us into... We all Americans. We all bleed red. Right? That's the okie doke. Right? That's the okie doke. They don't, you know, they don't believe that when it comes to empowering their community. They just want you to believe that when it comes to you empowering your community. Tell them to subscribe to that and give us some. Right? And if they do give us some, brothers, it's going to be crumbs. Freedom is never given. Is taken, and that's been the problem. Financial independence is never given; is taken, right? Ain't nobody gonna give you financial freedom, financial independence. You got to have a, a mentality of taking it. If it's rightfully yours, you got to take it. If it's not rightfully yours, then you don't have any rights to take it. But if it's rightfully yours, God given, and it is, then go take it. Go take it, right? So, brothers and sisters, that's our message for the day. Hope you liked it. All right? Watch the replay and share, share, share. Watch the replay and share, share, share. Right? Sharing is caring. No, we don't need permission. Hey, Gigi, sister Gigi. Salam alaikum. We don't need permission. Right? God didn't ask for permission to bring you and I into existence. So, we'll be asking somebody that had no determination on if we were born for permission. How long have you been investing? Oh, uh, let's see. 2000? 2000. 2000. All right? And that's the game. You got to invest, brothers and sisters. We're going to come on here maybe on Tactical Tuesday or Tactical Thursday and talk about, under, you know, help us to understand tax strategies. I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax professional, but you don't have to be either. You just need to know the basics and understand the basics and understand how this game is played and let them figure out the particulars just like football was here when you got here 
You just come and learn how to play the game and you get on the field and become a superstar and make millions and millions of dollars. It's the same thing with the money game. The rules that were here when you got here. Learn the rules to win and become the best there is and you will win at the money game. Anything short of that, you're playing just for fun. All right, hashtag black economy, hashtag black wealth, hashtag black dollars. How much money do I need to get started investing? How much money? You don't need any money. You need commitment. You need time. You need energy. You need mental power. You need belief. You need faith. That's all you need to invest. And the rest, self-discipline. And the rest will come to you. Because you've determined and you demonstrated. You've sending out the spirit, the vibration into the universe that will find like vibration and come and bring it back to you in the form of whatever you need. Then it'll come back in the form of money. Remember, as we said in the No Money Down live stream, it doesn't have to be your money. It can be somebody else's money, right? And it doesn't even have to be money at all. You'll be surprised, brothers and sisters, when you learn the game and you strive to be a professional at implementing the rules to win. You'll be surprised. People will give you something. I've had people just give me houses. And we're not talking about houses that's falling down. We're talking about they're moving out and give me houses. But if you have a defeatist mentality, defeatist attitude, if, you, if you're stuttering and stammering, don't believe that you can help people. See, that's why you got to share this stream. It's all part of the, the winning rules to the game. You have to believe that what you found can help people. If not, no matter how much money you invest, you'll come up a loser. All right, so hopefully that answered your question. Any other questions, brothers and sisters? So Monday is Money Mindset Monday. Tuesday is Tactical Tuesdays. Wednesdays is Q and Answers. Question and Answers, right? Thursday today is Tactical Thursday, techniques, right? Techniques, right? Techniques. And then Friday is Freedom Friday. So what's the technique for today? The techniques for today is go to DarylMuhammad.net, right? And go to the right side, click, put your name and email, and start getting the free training. Start getting the free training. The steps is taking action. That's always the next step. And what's the step after that? Take more action. And what's the step after that? Take more action. What's the step after that? Take more action. So remember, somebody put that. The next step is always take action. That's always the next step. And that's another rule. Winning rule to win at the money game is always the next step. It may not be always to invest, but it's always the next step is always to take action. Somebody put the next step. The next step is always to take action. There it is. The next step is take action. The next step is always to take action, right? The next step always is to take action. All right, brothers and sisters, any other questions? Thank you very much, this is Niambe. All right, so any other questions? No questions? Tomorrow's Freedom Friday. The subject is freedom. Freedom in general, financial freedom more specifically. Hashtag black dollars, hashtag black economy, hashtag black wealth. Hashtag black wealth. Okay? And we're going to try to upload some of these live streams to DarylMuhammad.net But if you haven't watched the ones that's already there, then go back and watch those. Leave a comment on my blog. I respond to all comments. Alright? I respond to all comments. And Jay, Sister Jay, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. And Aaron, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you so we can put those things into motion. Don't speak something that you don't have the intention to do. Just keep it to yourself and let it marinate in your spirit until you can back it with some actions. All right? So that being said, Ben said, thanks so very much. We'll see you tomorrow for Freedom Friday, 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. God willing, I'll be here, and I hope to see you here as well. Make sure you subscribe to this. Make sure you go to DarylMuhammad.net, subscribe, and make sure you watch the replay and share it with all your friends multiple times multiple times if, if they're not talking about dang you sharing too much 
Why are you always sharing that stream? Why are you, you know? If they're not complaining, then you're not sharing it enough. So that being said, brothers and sisters, thank you for being here. And remember, I'll see you at the top, not from the top, because you, your family, but most importantly, our black community deserves your very best. So go out and be your very best and empower yourself, empower your family, but most importantly, I'm looking for those that want to join on with me so we can put our money in our community with black businesses and capture that money that is flowing out of our community like a mighty river. So if you're about that, go to DarylMuhammad.net and subscribe, and I'll see you there. Take care. God bless. See you tomorrow.